Today's operation we conducted with the Wayne County Sheriff's Office. It's a joint effort with the United States Marshal Service and the Wayne County Sheriff's Office. Uh, the Wayne County Sheriff came to the Marshal Service asking if we could come together to pool resources in order to facilitate a uh, joint operation in which we conduct an entire compliance check on all the registered sex offenders residing in Wayne County. Sex offender registration was initiated after the passage of the Adam Walsh Child Protection and Safety Act of 2006. And in that act, uh, Congress uh, instructed the United States Marshal Service to be the lead law enforcement agency in working with state and local agencies in tracking down fugitive sex offenders. Inside? Somewhere. All right. You mind if we come in with you and look around? So like close to all that shit to make sure? Yeah, just yeah, to make, just verify make sure that, that you're sure living there. Dressed and whatnot. Yeah, you can do that. We just want to maybe look at your bedroom. Clothes on. Okay. What about your dogs? Can you put them away for us? They don't really like uniforms, but I mean. Okay. Yeah, you might want to lock them up there. A marshal, huh? Hey, what's yeah, up? yeah. Yeah, it was first time for everything. Yeah. yeah. When Sheriff Hutchison come into office first of the year, he contacted the U.S. Marshal's office and requested their services to perform an audit on our sexual offender database of those that are required to register with the Sheriff's office uh, and perform that function. Today, uh, May 21st, we did, we accomplished that goal. We performed the, the sex offender registration. We verified addresses. We verified employment with 187 individuals that are required to register with the sheriff's office uh, as a mandate through the revised code. The assistance of U.S. Marshal Peter Elliott and U.S. Deputy Marshal Brian Fitzgibbons, we have partnered with the U.S. Marshal's office and with, uh, along with our local probation and parole authorities and sent out, sent out six teams of three individuals on each team to perform this function. The significance of this operation that we performed today is to verify the accuracy of the information that we have in our sexual offender database uh, to ensure compliance with those that are required to register with the Sheriff's Office and to basically ensure the public that we are performing this function to the best of our abilities, that we have accurate information on hand and that the public can go to our website and, and check the information that the Sheriff's Office has maintained in a database in, in relation to sex offender address and employment.